This is the TV News, the industry's only daily video report. Brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative needs, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution. We welcome you to the TV News.TV for Thursday, September 16th, and we begin with the initial ratings results for the Martha Stewart program block on Hallmark Channel, when it was the opposite of a home run, more on the order of a home ruin, and that's not a good thing, as viewers stayed away in droves from the eight-hour block of Omnimedia programs. The Martha Stewart Show's three airings on Monday cumed an average audience that was well over 50% less than the Hallmark programming it replaced, and the entire eight-hour block on Monday was more than 65% off in delivered viewers. Now, top Hallmark Channel execs have said that they won't panic, and yes, it is very early in this transition, but wow. You know, don't you just hate it when you're totally wrong? Recently, I went on record as predicting that Monday Night Football ratings would decline ever so slightly this season. Well, so far, after the season opening doubleheader, I was wrong! Monday Night Football bowed this season to an all-time high number of viewers, an average of nearly 16.5 million viewers in prime time. Now, we'll see if these monster Monday Night Football ratings persist, but in the meantime, I'm just going to sit in the corner over there and not say anything. In the last couple of years, the TV industry has undergone some very, very dynamic changes, and nearly all of us, in some way or another, have had to reinvent either ourselves, our departments, our divisions, and even our entire businesses. Now with us is TV marketing and branding czarina, Robin Fisher Roffer, who has reinvented herself as a reinventor and brander for individuals and businesses via her Institute of Reinvention and Relevance. Robin, we welcome you and we would love to know more details on your role in helping both professionals and businesses reinvent and brand themselves. Robin. Well, hi Jeff, how are you? Um, we have been in business for 18 years now. We turned 18 last week, so Big Fish Marketing has been part of the TV landscape since then. And I have to tell you that in order to stay alive for 18 years, you've got to keep evolving. And we started out as a sweepstakes company who did promotions for cable television networks like Shark Week. We moved into uh, riding the wave of the internet and doing online marketing and flowed right into brand strategists to uh, not only launch new brands, lots of television networks, absolutely dozens all over the world, but now we're taking everything we know and helping professionals reinvent themselves. And we even came up with a new tagline for the company, which is reinventing brands and reigniting professionals. Now, one interesting thing is, you, because you've done so much rebranding, you say you as an individual, me as an individual, we're, I'm a brand. Yeah, I wrote a book 10 years ago called Make a Name for Yourself. It was the first book ever written for personal branding, taking everything that we know in the television business on how not only to launch a network and make it a destination, but to launch a television show and make it a franchise and applied it to people in their careers so that they could thrive and be relevant. Many have had you know, interruptions in employment, but you don't have to be really down and out to, to uh, have the need to reinvent or, or brand yourself or your business, right? I would prefer you never got down and out. I would say keep peeling the onion, get to the heart of what you do, and really shine a light on that. What you do better than anyone else is the way you're going to beat the competition today, whether you're vying for a position, a promotion, or wanting to leave your corporate job and start your own business or uh, pro-social program, which is what a lot of executives are wanting to do right now. You need to continually be evolving who you are, your message, and how you're portraying yourself to your target audience. 
The Institute for Reinvention and Relevance has a very important workshop coming up in a, a little less than a month. Tell us about that. That's right. Um, October 8th through 10th in Santa Fe, New Mexico, where we've reinvented Big Fish, uh, we are inviting professionals to come down and ignite their brand proposition to really crystallize their value to whoever they're trying to influence and to really peel all the layers away to get to what their talents are, what their passions are, and really take all that so that they can leave after the weekend ends with a brand strategy, not only for themselves and their career, but for their business and the company they work for, or the company that they're creating themselves. Very good. Uh, I know that's going to be a big deal. Um, tell us how to get more information. Well, you go to relevanceinstitute.com and there's a three minute, we'll call it a sizzle tape because we're in television and it shows testimonials from people who came to the last event and gives you a taste for what it's like to spend the weekend doing a workshop with me, just like I've done for so many television networks to help them get to their value proposition. We're going to do that same work for ourselves. Well, very good, Robin. This is not a one-time only thing. We're going to have you back in the, in the next week and the, I believe the week after so you can impart more of your wisdom upon us. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. We will be back tomorrow with a fresh edition which includes the Sports TV News with Eric Mackerlin. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you very much for watching and as always, Go out and make it a good day. The TV News has been brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative challenges, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution.